Hey, how's it going guys? Stick MCOC here, back with another video on Marvel Contest of Champions, and welcome to my new series, 3 Minute Champ Guides. This first episode is going to be on the chiseled jawed bearded god, Captain America Infinity War. Just want to say beforehand that for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to be referring to Cap Infinity War as an awakened maxi champion. Now, Cap Infinity War has all above percentage stats with a 23% crit rate, 180% crit damage rating, 12% armor rating, and a very high 76.3 block proficiency. He is tagged as an Avenger and medium size. Now, Cap Infinity War is good for many things, but the main thing he's popular for is insane damage, and how he gets this insane damage through his passive charges. He can have a maximum of five charges at one time. By parrying, he's guaranteed a charge. By blocking a hit, he has a 50% chance to gain a charge. When being struck, he has a 15% chance to gain a charge. When stunned, he is guaranteed a charge. And via his SIG ability, he can also gain a charge when Cap activates a special attack if he has a mutant champion in the team, and he can gain a charge each time a buff expires on the opponent if he has a mystic champion in the team. He also gains a charge of his third special attack, and this does not count towards the original stack of five charges, increasing the max charges to six. One strong benefit of these charges is Cap can hit through an unstoppable champion and sacrifices one of his charges to nullify the opponent's unstoppable charge. Now with at least one charge on Cap, he gains a 50% attack increase, physical resistance and energy resistance, improving his defensive capabilities even more. However, the way you make the most of these charges is by applying a heavy attack. When Cap uses a heavy attack, he gains a fury buff. This fury buff applies the 50% attack increase times the amount of charges Cap has at the time of activation. Meaning, if Cap is at the max of 5 charges, he gains a 250% attack boost. Plus, the charge gain from a third special attack increases it to a 300% attack boost for the duration of the fury buff. Cap Special 1 doesn't utilise the charge as his other special attacks do. It does inflict bleed, but it's best to save up to the Special 2. Cap's animations allow you to make the most of his abilities and allows you to change from a heavy attack to a second special attack. Now, alongside the already 300% attack boost from the Fury and 6 charges, Cap Special 2 gives him an extra 50% attack per charge active, giving Cap a maximum of a 600% attack boost on the Special 2, allowing him to do a ridiculous amount of damage in one, of his, in one hit Special 2. Special attacks consume all charges after activation. Cap also has some decent defensive capabilities, including his glancing ability, reducing the enemy's crit chance, as well as the 15% chance for Cap to gain a charge when struck, meaning if the attacker slips up, evading one of Cap's specials, he could do a lot of damage in a short period of time. Cap's Special 3 doesn't have the attack increase that's given by the Special 2, but he does gain a 100% attack increase for each different class in his team, up to two classes. So, if you have a diverse team, it's a 200% attack bonus, plus the 250 from the 5 charges activated by the Fury from Heavy Attack. A third special attack can't crit though, so if you're looking for a lot of damage, stick to the Special 2. Now, Cap is a real team player, and his synergies reflect that. When Cap Infinity War is in the team, tech champions drain 100% of the opponent's remaining power after the opponent uses a special attack. Mutants gain 20% special attack bonus. Skill champions gain 250 crit rating, which equates to about 10% increase. Science champions place a weakness on the opponent, reducing their attack by 50%, except when being struck. So taking blocked hits will take us half as much damage. Mystic deals 30% of their attack as direct damage when nullifying one of the enemy's buffs, and Cosmic Champs increase the buff duration by 25%. Okay, I think that's going to do it, guys. I'm pretty sure I've covered everything, but if you have any questions or anything I've missed out, then leave it in the comments below. Hope you've enjoyed this video and have learned something new about Captain Infinity War. If you liked it, then be sure to like, subscribe, and comment about which champion you'd like to see in the next three-minute champion breakdown. Thanks for watching. See ya.